Hey guys, it's Tim and this is Brustling Unlimited. Coming up on March 6th of the AEW Revolution pay-per-view. We technically only know of one match so far announced for the show, but I think based off the last couple of weeks of AEW television, we can kind of, I guess you could say, start to predict what we think the card could look like with one, two, three, four, five matches, counting that ladder match. So yes, talking about that ladder match, so far we do know that Keith Lee has qualified for the face of the Revolution ladder match. Keith Lee so far is the only wrestler to qualify for the match, and we'll see who the other five competitors are. Now when it comes to matches we think could be taking place, one of those is CM Punk versus MJF. Now we know in Chicago, MJF beat CM Punk two times in one night. Yet last night, CM Punk teamed with John Moxley and defeated FTR, which based off of what MJF said, gets Punk another match with MJF anywhere, anytime. And I think they drag it out a couple of weeks and do it at the pay-per-view. Also, I think we could be getting John Moxley versus Brian Danielson. Now, technically, this match was supposed to take place last year at the Full Gear pay-per-view in the finals of the Eliminator Tournament, and we all know what happened with that. Moxley had to take some time away, and we didn't get the match. But last week, Danielson stated that, yeah, he wouldn't mind fighting John Moxley, but he also wants to team with John Moxley and wants John Moxley's decision. Do you want to fight me or do you want to team with me? We haven't heard what Moxley's going to say, but I think in the end, this does lead to the two fighting, not teaming, and possibly fighting at Revolution. Now, as far as title matches do go with the AEW Women's Championship on the line, I really think Britt Baker will be defending against Thunder Rosa. They're really ramping up the Thunder Rosa stuff with her saying that she brought in Mercedes Martinez to take down Thunder Rosa. I think next week in the notice qualification match, either Thunder Rosa defeats Mercedes Martinez and then goes after Britt, or Britt does something to help Mercedes, which then just in turn leads to Thunder Rosa going after Britt. So either way, I think the notice qualification match does in turn lead to Thunder Rosa challenging Britt Baker for the title. And finally, I think with the AEW World Championship on the line, Hangman Page will defend against Adam Cole. It's the battle of the Adams. Last night at the end of Dynamite, we saw Hangman Page successfully defend the title against Lance Archer when Adam Cole came down. Adam Cole came down, grabbed the belt, looked at the belt, and then put it on the champ's shoulder, signifying, you got the belt for now, but I'm the number one contender, I'm ranked number one, and I'm coming for that title, and I think that's the main event of AEW Revolution. So with that, based off of things that have happened over the last couple of weeks within All Elite Wrestling, I think these are some of the matches we can be getting at the pay-per-view. Again, we already know about the ladder match. We already know that Keith Lee's qualified. Now, let's see if these other things come to fruition. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on what matches you think we could be getting at AEW Revolution. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe right here on YouTube.